This is how Kaplanten gaan. And I'm going to show you in this movie how to calculate a portfolio under a short sales constraint. And I'm using an example with five different assets, A, B, C, and D, and E. And I have the expected returns and the standard deviations in the columns B and C. And here we have the covariance matrix. So the first thing that I have to do is to create a portfolio of uh, an effector of portfolio weights for each of my five assets and for um, simplicity I add, put that uh, equal to an uh, equally weighted uh, portfolio so here we go a bit of messing around with the formatting but apart from that everything is fine and so now we're going to let the solver uh, decide on um, uh, what the optimal composition of a portfolio is. And in order to do that, I first need to calculate the expected return of the portfolio. And I can do that with the matrix multiply function. But then I have to transpose first the column factor of weights. And then I multiply this transposed factor with the expected returns of the individual assets. I press shift control enter and here is the expected return of the portfolio. Standard deviation is a bit more tedious but again we use matrix multiply and again we transpose the factor of portfolio weights. We need to multiply this transposed factor of, of uh, portfolio weights with the covariance matrix and eventually we're going to multiply that again with the column factor of portfolio weights and so then we are basically there we press shift control enter um, mind you we now have an expression but look here this is actually the variance so we're going to change that and so we are going to do the square root of this in order to get the uh, portfolio standard deviation. So this now it becomes time to introduce the solver. So now we're going to calculate optimal portfolios using the solver or the oplosser as it is called in Dutch. And the solver needs a objective function and we are going to use the sharp ratio for that. And the sharp ratio is the excess return and since we use uh, monthly data, we have to convert a risk-free rate to a monthly rate. We do that in a bit simple way, but this is enough for the example here. And so here we have basically the problem. And we're going to put the weights again to equal weighted as a starting point and we see a sharp ratio of 0.20. Now we're going to start the solver to see what is going on, where we want to have an optimal portfolio. As you can see, a lot of stuff has already been filled out. So the sharp ratio, let's select that as the objective function. The portfolio weights, these are the inputs of the problem, the variables that I can change. And finally, I need to have um, uh, a condition, namely that the sum of all portfolio weights should add up to 1. Um, this is actually already, this, this, this button here is already indicating that I can't take short positions. So if I um, uh, get this uh, unmarked, uh, then I allow the problem to create unlimited short positions and let's see what that brings us it brings us indeed short positions and i'm going to copy this for future reference and i do that with paste special in order to make sure that it doesn't matter mess up later and as you can see that results in a sharp ratio of 0.29 now again i'm going to do the solver but this time i'm going to exclude short 
positions. I can do that in two ways. I can just check this box or I can add uh, a condition. So I'm used to do that by adding a condition. So I'm going to do that this time as well. So I'm going to say these things, the portfolio weights should be larger or equal than zero. And here we have the complete problem. And now I press solve again and it will give me a solution. It says here, the solver found a solution. All conditions and, and optimization conditions have been satisfied. So that's good news. And indeed we see here um, that uh, stock B, which previously had a big short position, now ends up with a minor one and similarly uh, for stock D. And this all results in a sharp ratio of 0.27, which is still higher than the one that I had with equal weighting. So this is the end of this video. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it or at least uh, found it useful and uh, hope to see you next time.